just because it's called an ADU, it has to be technically detached from the house. Great question. So there's different types of ADUs. Ah. You've got attached ADUs, and then you've got detached ADUs. Okay. okay. So detached ADUs can be up to 1,200 square feet, mm -hmm. as long as you've got the space to work with. Okay. okay. Now, if it's an attached ADU, you could only have 50% of the existing structure can be the size of your ADU. Said differently, if it's an attached ADU, it could only be half the size of your existing house. Okay. So if it's a thousand square feet home that you have and you want to do an attached ADU, it could only be 500 square feet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 1,200 square feet is always the max. That's the general rule of thumb. So if you have a 10,000 square foot house, 50% mm -hmm. of that would be 5,000 square feet. But yeah. because it's capped at 1,200 square feet, ah. no matter what, your ADU can't be larger than Okay. Otherwise, it would just be considered add-on. It would be an add-on, yeah. It would just be an add-on. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's just going to be an add-on, then you've got different rules to play with. Mm. But there are incentives for calling your add-on, as an example, an ADU. Because ADUs have different setback reliefs. For example, every home, every property has certain setbacks. And that is basically an invisible area that runs along the lines of your property lines. Your side property lines, your rear property lines, your front property lines. Okay, there's an invisible area that you cannot build in. With an ADU, that invisible area shrinks down to just four feet, depending on the local jurisdiction that you're in. But the general rule is four feet. Wow. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, that's one example of an incentive that's out there for building an ADU is you've got easier setbacks to work with. 